as we know, fish stays in a water and one before you can acquire a land for a fish farming or a fish farm, you have to make sure you have located your land at a place where there is a means of getting water. So now if you acquire the land or the plot, you have to clear the surface of the land first because after you have contracted the pond, you are going to use back that sand again to make the surface clean. So you acquire your land, then to start you have to take a measure of the, the land or the, the pond. It depends on the size that you want to contract the pond. You can construct at least 20 by 50 meters square so that you can be able to manage it. You have to measure five meters all around so that you dig and put the soil around it so that you can heap around it. One, the pond should not be more deeper than 1.5 meters. So it should be a sloping. So you dig and collect the sand, dip it around the pond, sloping to the bottom side so that in case you want to drain the water, all the water can go to the end of the pond so that you can drain it. You need to get an inlet pipe which can take the water into the pond. pond. You have to slope the size. The, the side of the pond should be sloped so that it cannot make erosion. If it doesn't slope the size, if it started raining, it will break in and it will not be a, look like a pond. It will look like that. So you line the under of the pond so that it can kill some of the bacteria that come into the pond so that your pond should be fertilized. After liming, you put in a manure so that the manure will fertilize the pond. We have different types of manure that we use, but normally we use the chicken dropping, which is the best of all the manure that you can use for fish farming. So after putting in the manure about some two days, then you put water. You fill the pond with water to about to tear off it so that Whenever you are ready, then you can bring in the fish inside the pond. The three in one construction is in two parts with two cages in one. And each, the area of each cage is 5,000 meters, millimeters square or 16 feet square in an area. Now, the cages, the parts of the cages, we have the main frame the elbow and the middle link. The middle link involves when construction the two-in-one cages. But in the single cages, we only have the elbows in the construction of the single cages. Starting the pipe to size, we put the pipe in the power hacksaw braid. The main frame is cut to 5,000 millimeters, which is 16 feet. Then we cut the elbows 750 millimeters, which is also two feet, seven inches. Then we cut the middle link, the outer measurement being 1,100 millimeters, which is also three feet, seven inches. Now fixing this thing to size, we have fixtures around, whereby we put in these materials which are cut to shape into the fixtures and are being welded by our technicians. Now after welding, in order to protect the world part from corrosion or rusting, we prevent or coated it with anti-rust oxide. When this is done, then the, the process, the parts are being sent to the drilling machines to be drilled with the various parts in place. Now, in order to get this done or assemble well, the various parts are being numbered as the process goes on. Because producing this is not just a one cage. They are about 200 cages in all. So each component comes with its dimension or its uh, number or identification. Now when this is done, the final part is the drilling. After drilling, then you send it out to set. After setting, the work is done. In the construction of the single cage, we have two parts, the mainframe and the corners. Now we have four corners for a single cage and we have four frames for a single cage. Now the corners here, or the elbows here, are to join the various four corners in shape to get our 5,000 millimeter 
square size that we want, or which is 16 feet square that we want. Now in the construction of the tree you want to, whereby the elbows or the middle link comes in, that one is made of three parts, the main frame, the elbow, and the middle link. And that one too, we have seven parts of the main frame. That's where the middle link comes to support the middle one to, have, to get the two-in-one construction. God will bless you wherever you are. Here we are using a five by three meters uh, dimension, so which can uh, accommodate or have a stocking density of between 7,005 and 10,000 fingerlings. But we are using the 7,000 fingerlings capacity so that there will not be too much stress on the cage. With the in installing, you, ha you have to put the frames onto the drums. Then you tie the frame onto the drums. Yes, I must confess, it will bring success for beautiful Ghana. United farmers and workers of Africa, God will bless you wherever you are. After that, we have the corners where you have to you we use the seven inches uh, bolt to tighten the frames which are the the, the, the joints this is the mosquito net we use as the hapa to collect the fingerlings inside because when they are very small they, they could pass through the bigger mess size which is used as the, the, the cage. So after they have grown for some time we remove the mosquito net which is used as the harbor but we leave uh, a, a, a size to at the top of the cage so that when you feed water will not drain the feed out of the, the cage. This is the PV net used for the cage. This is sewn and then uh, weighted. There are weights on it. The weight is supposed to let it go down. Then the top, we tied it onto the frames before we put in the mosquito net. Yo. Me did say a nurse who was here and never be brave. Say, be bitch a wadring. Now we pinch him more after sending a senior in so many more. Friend number, sir, a good screen in so movie. Now, farm channel, a bed also. Well, hope you've been able to gather something for yourself. For further inquiries, contact farm channel on these numbers on your screen. Hope to see you next time on farm channel. Bye bye.